Hi, welcome back to my channel, Melissa's Coupons and Crochet. I was trying to figure out how to use this new um, stick I showed you guys I bought to try to hold on to the phone while I crochet. I've been having quite a few adventures trying to figure that out. So in the last videos we talked about how to make a chain in crochet and how to make a single crochet. And I thought today we could do a half double crochet. Now I found this yarn yesterday. It is, I'm trying to make sure you see, okay. Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn, and it is in the color Parfait. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. I don't know about you guys, I have sometimes just as much fun buying the yarn and cracking a skein open to get started as I do actually working on a project. Now if you haven't seen my other videos on how to make a chain, you definitely want to check that out. But if you need to see again real quick for a recap, take your yarn loop it around your finger, pull your finger out, pull the hook in. I always twist the hook around. Take your yarn, pull it through with the hook, tighten down. And then you have a knot and that will hold on to your stitches. Now, everyone has a different way they hold the yarn, they hold crochet hooks. I'm not worried about that. All that matters is what is comfortable for you, what works for you and what you wanna use. Now to make the chain, you just go ahead Grab the yarn with the hook, pull through, grab, pull through. Have to grab some more yarn here. Probably start working on a project or a blanket or a hat or something that I can add these stitches on. If you all want to drop a comment in the comment section, you can let me know if there's something you might like to see with all these different stitches we're working on. The other day I actually went out of town and I had a lot of fun. I was able to go to Hobby Lobby Michael's and Joanne Fabrics, which I'm not able to do that very often. And I was able to find some really cool yarn that I'll have posted in the shorts. If y'all want to see that, check it out. And what I'm doing here is I'm making a chain so that way I can go back and show you guys how to make the half double crochet. If you already know how to do this, you can skip ahead. Of course I ended up buying some yarn and I bought another hook because I don't know about y'all but I have little ones. Hooks tend to disappear even with the best of intentions. So do crochet hooks, yarn, projects you're working on, whips which are works in progress which y'all know um, if you're like me you have quite a few of those laying around with everything else you're working on. So since we're not working on a specific project I'm just going to have this amount in the chain. Now, if you're working on a project, you'll want to make sure to follow your pattern and see how many chains you need to have. You'll want to loop your yarn around the hook. Make sure you guys can see this. See, there's the loops here that you've made in the chains. You'll want to loop your yarn and then you'll want to skip the first two chains, stick your hook into the third chain and you're going to pull up three loops. See there's three loops on your hook. Then you're going to want to pull your yarn. See how the yarn's on the hook? Put them all through and that's a half double crochet. Pull through, three loops, pull the yarn through, stitch is done. You just always remember to yarn over. And then pull through and you have three and you're done. Now, my best advice if you're learning how to crochet is to go ahead and practice each stitch as much as you can. Now, I don't know if you'd want to do what I did when I was a kid. My grandma taught me, so she had me learn one stitch and I was working on a blanket. And she would have me work on that one stitch until I had it down, not perfect, but I could at least make the stitch and then I would have to work on the blanket so many rows in that stitch to make sure I had the stitch down. And then I would go to the next stitch to learn. That would be a good thing if, um, well, I make scrap yarn blankets, but I do all different kinds of stitches and I follow patterns. But that would always be a good thing if, you know, you wanted to work with different colors or if somebody gives you yarn to start out. See, it's really easy. You just take the hook and put that in the loop, pull up three, yarn through, pull them all over. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and finish to the end of this row here and then we'll, I'll show you how to start the next row and then I'll have other stitches in my videos. If there is a specific stitch that you're wanting to learn or you're wanting to see so you can practice, drop a comment in the comment section and let me know. Um, I do know how to do quite a few of them. There's some that even though I've been crocheting a long time, I still have to work on. So we would be learning together or you would at least see me working on it and saying, oh, don't do that and we'll rip it out and start again or frog, we'll frog the project. So you are over. I wanna thank you all very much for watching. I have um, 504 subscribers now. I appreciate every single one of you and all the time that you take to watch my channel and watch my videos and my shorts. I will be posting again every day now. I couldn't post for a long time. Things happen, life happens, you know how that goes. And there's no need to go into details about it, but things are better now. And that's the only way you can look at it. I don't know about y'all, but it's really nice here today. It's in the 70s. Thought I would enjoy a little bit of my free time outside. Now, when you get to the end of the row, see I've done the last stitch. You want to take your hook, you want to chain, and then you want to flip your work over. The only time you don't want to flip your work over is if you're following a pattern and it says not to, but it usually does 99% of the time. Then you want to yarn over. And see, you don't want to stitch here where the chain is. You actually want to make your next stitch there. So I'll show you that again. Put the hook through, loop with the yarn, three loops, pull with the yarn. There you go. And that is how you make a double cro half double crochet. We'll be doing a double crochet next. I hope this helps you all out, and I want to thank you very much for watching. Talk to you all later.